Hi friends, welcome to this week's furniture makeover. My name is Valesa from Alay Refurbish. I have been eyeing this Pottery Barn brand coffee table, except that it's priced at $1,499. Give myself the task to find something very similar to it. So happy and thrilled that I found a piece that looks just like it. So stick around for today's makeover. <laughs> The moment I saw these curvy legs, I completely fell in love with the entire coffee table. You see it's on casters and the top has skin webbing. And I think that the look that I'm going for is perfect for this specific piece. I'm using some crud crutter and scrubbing the entire thing to remove any grime that has accumulated over time. Since I'm going for a natural look for this makeover, one of the goals is to paint the skein webbing to make it look like it's natural. That way, it will match the rest of the color on the table once it's sanded down to bare wood. The way you prep cane is the same way that you would normal wood. We are gonna clean it, scuff sand it, prime it, and finally paint it. As I did a little bit of research on painting cane, I found out one recommendation and that is that you should only paint one side because it's important that the cane has a way to breathe. Otherwise, it'll dry, brittle, and finally break. The most recommended method of painting it is by spraying it, but you're gonna find out in this video that the method that I use today, which is diluted paint, was highly effective and is something that I plan on doing again in the future. Just a quick reminder that I have added links to all of the products that you see me using in today's video. You can find them under the video description. To sand all these curvy legs, I'm using the 3x4 surf bread foam pads. Even though you see me here starting with a medium grit, I quickly switched it to the coarse grit. I know that videos can be deceiving sometimes because of how quick clips go from one to the next but i just want to be honest and tell you that i spent two days sanding this table probably an average of six hours each day as you're gonna see i'm gonna be using the surf prep here for all the curves there are some grooves where the surf prep couldn't get in so i'm using some hand grips to have a concave and convex angles and those work really well and as always, I also use my Dewalt Orbital Sander. As I'm sanding, I'm starting to think that I should probably prime the cane before I do anything else so that there is any overspray. I don't have to resand those areas. In today's video, I will be using several new products. And one of those is this furniture prep from Lily Moon Paint is a solution that needs to be diluted with water. This cleaner will help you get your piece ready for priming. Something that I love about this product is that it's odorless, colorless, and leaves no residue behind. Just make sure that your surface is completely dry prior to painting. I will be applying two coats of Ben White Shellac Base Primer. I would say that light coats are best. While the primer dry, I continue to sand the rest of the legs.
Can I just share with you that I wouldn't be able to take on a test like this if it wasn't for my surf prep. I think it was one of the very first things that I invested months into furniture refinishing just because I remember spending probably double the time sanding legs similar to these ones. To achieve that natural look on the cane webbing, I mixed both lily and rattan colors from Lily Moon Paint and diluted this color mixture with water. And here's the moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. At this point, I'm thinking, wow, this looks pretty close to the natural state, so I'm gonna leave the color mixture. After I apply two coats of this diluted color mix, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back with the gel stain that I'm gonna be applying on the entire table, including the cane webbing. Now that my paint is completely dry, I'm gonna be removing the tape and do a final wipe down on the whole table before applying my water-based gel stain. While I'm cleaning, I like to talk to you a little bit about these new gel stains that just hit the market last week. I was actually quite impressed. First of all, they're water-based, so they're super easy to clean up. Highly pigmented. They have a built-in top coat. They can be used over unfinished wood or over painted surfaces like a glaze. One of my favorite things about this product is that it has a fast drying time, which is 20 to 30 minutes. And the color I chose for the table was this natural cork one. I changed my mind later in the video and I'm going to be showing you why. It was my first time using these water-based gel stains. I used different things to apply it to see which way work best. So here I'm starting with a sponge. Later on you're going to see me use a foam brush to get into all the little grooves. I'm also using a natural bristle brush at some point and a synthetic brush. I have chosen my favorite methods of application and that is by using the sponge, natural bristle brush. I did have to use the foam brush too on those really tight corners because it has kind of like a square edge and that was really helpful too. It's right about this point that the table is looking lighter than I wanted it to. So what I decided to do was to mix natural cork with a darker color called wooden barrel. I didn't measure, I just mixed it until it looked like a warm tan color and I liked it. Now this looks way better. So once again, I applied it over the wood and over the cane webbing. The consistency of these gel stains and the viscosity is such that there was no issue in applying it over the cane. The label is not lying when it tells you that it dries within 20 to 30 minutes. I was able to do this light sanding over it 30 minutes after I had applied it, which I absolutely love. 
because I had already spent enough time sanding this table. And of course, I couldn't wait any longer before bringing it inside and rearranging my living room. Before I can bring it in, and being that this is a coffee table, I wanted it to be extra protected. Even though the gel stains have a built-in top coat, we know that it's only a matter of time before I spill some hot coffee or tea over it, being that I'm a heavy coffee drinker. So I took it a step farther and applied three coats of Lily Moon paint clear top coat. This top coat is a high performance, water resistant coating, has a low VOC and low odor. I noticed that it was dry after 15 minutes and you can reapply one or two more thin coats for some added protection. You can also sand it with a fine grit sandpaper in between coats to achieve an extra smooth finish. Yay, I can finally bring the table inside today, but first I have to empty the old one and get it out of here. We used to keep board games in here. Let's be honest, I have enough furniture around my house that has drawers and room for storage. For some reason, we were storing a bunch of stuff here and there's no need to it. So regardless, I'm rearranging everything and making room for my brand new fancy coffee table that I'm so excited to have. One of my favorite things is to place new decor over furniture that's new here in my own home. So I'm just playing around with different things. And here are my final results. I'm obsessed. This place feels fancier with this table. How can a table make such a difference? I don't know. But like I said, I'm completely in love with it. Let's not forget that not only did I keep this piece out of the landfill, but also I saved myself some big bucks here. I paid $30 for this one with my materials. It costed me $70. Huge difference from $1,500. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I am obsessed with my table. And don't forget that just like there's hope for these pieces of furniture, it doesn't matter how tough things get, there's always hope for you. I will see you guys next week.